soldiers that were retreating from battle. Now Hive coming up for luxuries. He's going to get some Defilers going for this first. And I, I definitely don't think he's going to afford Ultras at this point. But Defilers would definitely help him out at this point. So early Mutalisks failed for him. And he's done a pretty good job of transitioning. I think part of what uh, what helped him with that was simply because that Quasin went for one base build. And now we're going to see what it is that Luxury tries to engage. A 10 o'clock position is fairly vulnerable. Nothing but one single bunker and a tank and a few tanks on the ridges there to help him. That oh, Quasin now moving out with some tanks. Science Fuzzle Marines again. Those Hydras going to engage. Those Science Fuzzle again. Science Fuzzle is irradiating some workers, trying to run as well as they can, just trying to do some sort of damage. It's not doing too well enough. Losing some Science Fuzzle there. Hydras all being irradiated, moving as far as they can. Some some tanks still sieging most of the medic marines all get cleaned up luxury losing though a lot of forces there and uh, all those tanks on the ridges for quasin doing a fairly good job and quasin still has mining at the 10 o'clock that his natural is still mining he doesn't have a second gas at that na at the 10 o'clock though he's gonna have to set that up fairly soon some lurkers and hunters still on the ground so overall it's just interesting how all these fights just equal each other out both players not really every heavy just oh, going around killing each other's expansions and fighting almost to equality there at the middle but i think as soon as defar is going to be out it's going to be Luxury should be able to turn the game in his favor. Now his natural almost mined out again, trying to take out the f take down that four o'clock position. He's definitely going to need that if he wants to go. He's only going to be mining on one base for a little while now. We're going to see whether Quasin manages to take advantage of this. Man, this is a long, long, exciting game. This is this is the kind of start of match that makes a man. People, it's it's it, it's not it's not what people say. It's not it's it's not the way he fights every day. It's not the voluptuous woman in his arms. No, no, it's 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 commentating a insanely long StarCraft matchup between two awesome players. That's what makes a man, my people. And, and Nuke, by not joining me, is not a man. Nah. I love you, Nuke. You know that. You know that. You know that. Man crush! No, I'm kidding. So, uh, just both po players just getting a decent amount of forces. Now, first, another drop shoot now for Quasin. He's going to try to drop onto a location, see if he gets on the has to be very careful with those Scourge, and especially with those Hydrasks around. Abound everywhere. Some Zerglings all over the place for Luxury. He's going to try to spot any sort of expansion. They're going to go. Luxury moving out. Some Scourge. Oh, both Scourge. Both Scourge is landing on separate Science Vessels. And a drop now coming out for Quasin. He's going to be in a pretty good position. Nothing to resist that drop. No forces. And bunch a large amount, a small amount of Renic Marines is going to engage all those doors. Another one on the other side of the spectrum. There's going to Luxury moving out with some Cracklings. And some Hydra is going to engage everything. Take everything out. And going to be forced back with those men. Defense Matrix tanks there upstairs on the ridge. We're going to see whether Quasim managed to take out this hatchery. There are reinforcements coming in for luxury. I'm not sure if he's going to manage. We're going to see whether Quasim just focus on this hatchery. He's going to focus on the hatchery. He's going to try to take out his mega. Just trying to reposition his mech marines. We're going to see whether the hatchery survives. The hatchery does indeed survive. Oh, man. Uh, Quasim, by f focusing early on on the drones to take those out, should have been... If he had focused early on on, all the, on the hatchery instead, he would have been able to take that out. But... Wanting to take that out instead. Man, those tanks on those ridges are plenty of kills. One one of those tanks with 22 kills. Jeez. Talk about ma awesome master sergeants there. Very interesting. Every single siege, siege commander have the same rank. Wonder if they ever have arguments. Okay, that 10 o'clock is now fully mining for Quasin. I'm not quite sure how he is going at his natural. I don't think he's very good mining there. Quasin now is has a defiler mine going. Is Has mining at that... 8 o'clock, although that was stopped for quite a while there to that one to that wonderful drop there. I'm not sure whether he has full, full mining going at the 8 o'clock base. Meanwhile, when he say how that evolves, okay, he does indeed have mining going now. Luxury mining at two bases, Quasin mining at a one and a half base, I guess, but overall pretty equal. Overall, four barracks is still for Quasin only, just creating some tanks overall. Not really getting barracks uh, upgrades. I think you might have ha have already full weapons upgrades at this point. I see you gonna go out and scout this. Some sunken colonies be put down at that eight o'clock. But I think Quasin's actually gonna move towards the uh, eight o'clock. I mean, at the at the four o'clock there were sunken put, and at the eight o'clock that's where Quasin's gonna push in with some science fuzzles. Almost no forces on the ground. Gonna radiate those lurkers to start off with some hydras moving into position and a dark swarm going off. So we're gonna see whether Quasin pushes this or not. Science vessels are radiating the defiler too. <laughs> Oh, the force is running back and then just running again. And then again now at the 8 o'clock. At the 4 o'clock, I'm sorry. Marie and Green's moving in. But there are Zer Cracklings running in just in time to take those out. And the Sunkins, they're almost in position. I think he did manage to take out a few drones. But overall, not too much damage done. But, you know, whatever economic damage you can do at this point is what you want to do. Because there hasn't been any real economic damage done by Luxury for the, at the, for the next, like, last five minutes or so. So overall, 
Boston is in a pretty, pretty, pretty good position to possibly take this match. Luxury, we're going to see overall what it is that he does here. Putting down Dark Swarms everywhere, try to position himself. Make sure that Kwasin moves where he wants him to move. Just trying to control the positioning of Kwasin's army. Because Kwasin's definitely not going to move towards the Dark Swarm. We're going to find some Lurkers, Hydralisks, and Cracklings waiting for him there. Barracks is trying to produce as much as they can. Starpers, I'm not sure if they're building. Just still four barracks. I'm, if, of course, if Kwasin had more mining, he would be able to put down a few more barracks to get more mining going. 2 1 upgrades on the ground forces, meanwhile, for luxuries. Of course, ha couldn't invest too much gas into everything. He is mining gas from everywhere, but of course, uh, definitely one or two of those Vespian geysers are depleted at this point. Crackling got a meter scattering SCV that was possibly thinking of taking another expansion. That's not gonna happen. Tanks on the range again ex <laughs> engaging random reserve is running around, it's insane how many kills they're getting there. Uh, Kwasin again now moving towards that 8 o'clock. Gonna try to engage again with one science also flying, or first science of flying. Oh, Scourge going off, and that's gonna take it down. Oh, for, forward uh, science was gonna get taken down. Defiler radiated, and getting off a wonderful plague though. Wow, look at that plague, but a lot of those science vessels, the Defiler is gonna die, but Noble Sacrifice getting off a very good plague on a bunch of those ground forces. I think if Luxury actually came out with a queen, it would help him a lot with the, nothing but science was and medic marines that are on the ground. One in snare would put Quasin in such a bad position. And Quasin, of course, is no stranger to in snare, being one of um, <laughs> being one of the early victims of Jairong's queen build, being uh, you know to his prototype queen build being the second victim overall, if I remember correctly, with Fantasy being the first. Now, another science vessel going to get taken down by Scourge. Science vessel scanning around, but Hwasen not doing, doing a very good job of protecting us. Be very careful, especially with those science vessels that have been plagued, and they just need one Scourge or just a couple of Hydra shots, and they're done. Defiler! Oh, Defiler! Hwasen oh, doing a pretty good job trying to move out with just a few Medic Marines so to engage the Defiler. Now, Kraken's going to go up. Dark Swarm going off on the ramp. They're going to engage those Siege Tanks and that Barrack. Siege Tanks first, then the, then the, the uh, Bunker, I'm sorry. And of course, with that, there's nothing going to be able to engage. Irradiate going off on the Defiler. He, Watson just not with enough science vessels. He's losing too many science vessels. He should be able to, if he had like seven science vessels, he'd be able to radiate just the hell out of everything. Losing another science vessel to the side list. Oh man, that early plague just be playing awesome, awesome possum there for stop. I am exhausted. Ah oh, man, he's to drink. My throat is dead. Science was still flying around, floating around, damaged so badly, it's not even funny. Have plenty of kills thanks to those irradiates of there, some of them, but... Oh, not doing another Medic Marine group, Dark Swarm going off, and another Plague! Man, beautiful Plague, all those Medic Marines, Plague to hell. Some Fire Bats that are help out with those Krakens, but overall a lot of damage done. The Science was also plagued very heavily. Uh, luxury, Kwasin unfortunately has not been able to do some, no, oh man, engage, engagement, and all those marines getting out, Kwasin hasn't been able to do some economic damage as he was able to do early on, and I think he might be actually be falling here to Luxury, Luxury now moving out fairly well, Kwasin only has one base mining at this point, just at 10 o'clock, and he needs to establish another base fairly soon before that base mines out, or else he's going to be in serious trouble, Luxury now is at two mining bases, and if you wanted to, you could take that mineral only at the lower left hand corner at that 7 o'clock far, far corner, Corner. Some lurkers gonna kill something. I believe that was a tank in transit. Medic Marine Group's gonna try to engage some cracklings and some stuff. Ah, dra oh, Dr. Won't going off again. Zergan's gonna run right in. Those no, scourge are gonna catch that science vessel. Science vessel goes down. The second science vessel goes down. Oh, no, man. And I think Hwasin's just slowly losing this game. It, in no huge part to losing all of those freaking. All those freaking science vessels, man. He's been losing a lot of medic marines on the ground, just not being able to use them. Just, of course, luxury can just use his cracklings as fodder. I mean, if he uses loses his cracklings, what the heck? He doesn't lose anything from it, really. I mean, they're so cheap. He can just get as many as they want. He use them as much as they want. He uses he's nothing. Using nothing but cracklings and the followers at this point, and he's totally keeping Hwas in a bad position. Hwas now again thinking of moving out. He has a decent number of tanks now. Lots of plague units getting be engaged by cracklings. Plague science vessel also. Don't see a lot of workers on the ground. Meanwhile, I'm going to see overall what happens here. Luxury, just making sure to prevent any expansions that Hwasin might be thinking of taking. And Hwasin's going to need an expansion soon. He's just using all of his resources on ground troops, trying to do some sort of damage. And he's just not doing the damage with those defiers out. Now, Luxury has taken such a huge event. And